Sudo bagunces and it's still good news. Mama me help and your papa me help. But God bless the child that's God is own. That's God is own. A rich relations give a crust of bread and such. Say you can eat your pill. Just don't take too much your mama may have and your papa may have but god bless the child that got his own that's got his own everybody believes they more than anyone can truly see the light. Now, if you say something, they will tell you if you're wrong or right. Everybody can criticize and put most things in the right place, yet everyone has a problem seeing the problems in their own face. It's funny how we all see the wrong in everybody else's ways, but if not corrected, we live out our own thoughts from day to day. In all honesty, we need to stop in both action and in speech until we take that time we use to criticize, to teach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, my show will be a little different tonight. Usually I come in and I prepare a show and I go and I do my little mental breathing. But tonight I did something that I thought was extra special. Now I have somebody real special with me and I'm not going to point her out or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> when I walked in, I was trying to come up with what I was going to do. And I just handed her my work and said, pick me eight pieces out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do eight pieces that my baby gave me to do. <laughs> All right. And the next one is, you know, we're in the season where we celebrate a uh, holiday that's close to me, even though my mother's gone, she's passed on to the n n next realm of what this life is about. Uh, I wrote this for her uh, as an example of my appreciation for the things that she did for me and basically just to say to her what I thought when I said, <coughs> Mother, I had you. You did a good job raising this child of yours. The time you put in with me has opened so many doors. I now understand what you had in mind for me. I'm following that advice. I then could not see. I love you for the things you did and those you said. I love you for what I am now and the progress that I've made. Now the world can wonder what I have to keep me going and what gets me through. If anyone asks me how I did it, mother, I tell them all, I had you. <laughs> this next piece, uh, just like my sister here, you know, I've gone through some transitions in my life where I've uh, been up, down, over and out. Uh, I've done some things that... Uh, have caused me pain and some things that caused me joy. And I wrote this in a series of things that I wrote when I was going through a process of coming out of a very dark place into the light. And what I found out was, in spite of all that's ever happened to me, it was instilled in me to always have a positive outlook, all right, which gave me a positive self-will. And that's what I call this piece. Now, I've never recited it in public before, so you have to bear with me as I read it off the paper. Uh, positive self-will. There's so much to be said about ability, both learned and natural skill, but there's nothing that can take the place of a person's positive own self-will. Without self-will, no matter what you plan to do, forget about all the things you say. Most things are like feathers in the wind. They just don't really go your way. In this world of get what you pay for, world of cause and effect reality, there's one thing that applies all the time, both to you and to me. Without self-will, you are playing a loser's game. When the stakes, or excuse me, when the stakes are, are no less than life itself, without self-will, your future is determined by whatever comes or falls off the shelf. Now this goes both ways in life trip. There's a, a negative downside, so be careful of all the negative thinking. Please stay clear of, of lies and false pride. If you're trying to make life better or you're just studying to enhance your life skills, first work on your, work on your dreams you have, then add it to your own positive self-will. The next one is, is a favorite piece of mine. Uh, this 
is like a motivation piece to me because, as I said, I'm a positive thinking person. I try to act positively, even though I don't always do the right thing. You know, I try to look at the positive side of life. And this is a piece that I wrote when I was in a very bad, bad space that I read every once in a while or recite to myself every once in a while to, to, to uplift me. Uh, it's a spiritual piece, and I hope I ain't stepping on no toes. It's called Rejoice, for I know your will. Sometimes life can be so hard, you want to give up and stop even trying. The problems are so many until you wonder if it's worth living or dying. Just think about the promise made by God to those not living only for man's thrills. Keep on working at being good at heart and rejoice in all things for it is God's will. Yes, there's bills and trouble times that come into all of our lives and each day can be harder to deal with for the husband, children, and the wives. But the lighter your heart is in dealing with the troubles of each day, the easier you see or do it because that really is God's way. Now, God never said it'd be easy to make it and stand by his side. You have to prove yourself worthy. You won't find God if you hide. So when the troubles come and people make you mad enough to kill, fall on your knees, look up to God and say, I rejoice in all things because I know you will. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come back and do another set. I'm going to do one more piece, and I'm going to sit down and let somebody come up and, and add to the entertainment tonight. This is, <laughs> this is a discipline piece I wrote for myself back in 1987 when I was paying back some, for something I had done. Uh, won't get into the situation and circumstances, but I think the poem will speak for itself when I say what goes around comes around. This you can bet. Now, we all do things to others that we forget, but as sure as the night follows each day, these things will catch you and block your way. Do unto others is more than a rule. You see, life has many teachers and it's in the school. The things we do that cause others pain will catch us and stop us like a clog in the drain. Now, sometimes we do things when nobody knows. Or we do it in private, where it won't shut. But it will catch you sleeping on the sunniest day. you got to be where life will make you pet. I'll be back. Thank you.